Hey guys, and welcome back. Uh, the last lesson, what we were doing is learning how to create uh, PCB mountings for our flight control to sit on. And in this lesson, what we're going to be doing is we're going to create uh, the motor mounting to house our motors in. So, first thing I need to do is I'm just going to click on my uh, top half of my drone here, and I'm just going to go into my shape menu. And we've got two options on this right hand side. We can lock editing, uh, which stops the shape being edited. And we can also hide selected as well. So if I click on hide selected, that'll just hide it, um, just for the time being, until I press this little light bulb at the top again, let's show all, and it'll pop back up. Okay, so I'm just gonna hide it just to clear the workspace a little bit before we move on to the next thing. Um, so first what we're going to do is we're going to put a cylinder into our work plane and we need to do a couple of different cylinders, uh, different sizes. So I'm going to start off by doing one that is 8.2 by 8.2. Um, notice we've got the 0.2 on there and that's just tolerance for the motor size. So it'll just create more push fit. Um, yeah, it'll be more push fit when the mo when you actually start to assemble this. Um, what we're going to do is change the height to 15.5. Uh, so that's 8.2 by 8.2 and then 15.5 high. Um, the sides, we need to make sure that all the sides are up all the way up, just to make sure the refinement is nice and we get a nicer 3D print. Once we've got that cylinder, um, we need to add two striped cylinders or two whole cylinders here. So I'm just going to add one cylinder in there. Um, I'm just going to change the width uh, to 6.2 and then again 6.2 at the bottom there. And we're going to change the height this time to 15. So we've got 15, 6.2 and 6.2. And I'm then going to add another whole cylinder in there. And this time we're going to change the dimensions here to 5.2 and then 5.2. And then we're going to change the height to 16. So we've got 15.5, uh, 15, and then 16. And you'll see why we've done that in a, in a, in a second. Um, so then I need to select all three cylinders and then we are going to align them together. So I'm just going to use these two black circles there just to align the parts together. And once we've done that, I'm just going to group all them together, creating this sort of cylinder kind of looking thing. Um, notice as well, we've got a little lip around the top there just to stop the motor from flying out. Um, so one thing we need to consider um, when creating our drone is to actually make it as lightweight as possible. So to do that we need to actually reduce weight in areas such as this motor mounting. We don't actually need all the material on this mounting. So to get rid of material um, what I'm going to do is actually make, a, a, we're going to add a box. So I'm going to use a whole box here, just add it to my work plane. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the um, the width there to 3 mil, um, and I'm going to cha change the uh, the length there to uh, 10 mil, and I'm also going to change the height to 10 mil as well. And then once we've got that, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the two um, shapes here, so the box and the motor mounting. And I'm going to use the align tool again to just align them more central to each other using these two circles here. And then I'm going to use, the, if I just change my front view there, I'm going to use this circle to actually put it in the middle of my motor mounting. And once we've done that, we can group the two parts together and we've created our motor mounting. So in the next lesson, we need to create three more of these uh, to create the base of our drone.